Good morning. You are watching 360 Live Show hosted by Transcontinental Times. I am Roshan Bondeka, joining from Spain. In today's show, we are having a special guest, also joining us from from uh, Spain, who's who's a very promising and young artist uh, known in uh, Spain itself. I will introduce about her, but later on, uh, you know, when when we when we progress slowly uh, in in a show. So before going into the deep dive of the show, the intention of this 360 Live Show to invite people. and talk about their journey their experience how they learn something how they achieve something in their life so we invited we in a recent show we invited people from civil industry we invited people from uh, bollywood hollywood and also people who are working on the ground uh, those are not well known to the society that's what our purpose to give their voice that is what global voice uh, local voice and global reporting that's what intention we are you know the that's a the theme that's a the vision of transcontinental times we all are working together to bring people and talk about their journey so in so to so other people can get something and learn something out of it to understand the importance of their journey and also how that how how anyone can can make it easily that possible for in in their life so today we have a a person uh, melani garcia uh, 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 the person who's specially known in spain and also in europe no, she is represent she is a representative of spain and she represented spain actually uh, during junior eurovision song contest 2019 in poland she is a winner of one of the the popular show in spain that is what laws was kids that's the, that's that's a that's a show she she has won in 2018 at the age of 14 she has achieved so many things where as people started to going to the school and learning a things but when she was 8 years old she started to to, to sing and also practice and participate in many other competitions so This is what the story is all about. Melani Garcia joining from Spain near by Valencia. She is living in Valencia, and and her impact, her her work, her 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 art work actually, especially inspiring people to do something in their life. So Melani, welcome on Transcontinental Times, and it was honor and privilege to have you on board on Transcontinental Times. Thank you, thank you. Hi. great so just to begin with our discussion right so uh, at the age of 14 you achieved so many things in the life whereas kids go to the school colleges and you know to dream to to being a part of eurovision contest and uh, you know so many other contests and all so what was your inspiration and how you thought this can be easily possible and achievable in a life if you could talk about your inspiration from where you got it and how you did it it will be great Okay. Yeah. Well, junior year vision was so good. It was like uh, my dream since I was like, I don't know, five or six year old. I dream about uh, going to junior year vision or to the voice kids. So yeah, it was an achievement, like you said, for me to go to that things that say cities. So. I was so proud and so honored to be there and you are true because they approach me very much things uh now I know how to uh do my voice better with some exercise or something that I have learned from the voice kids uh because of the vocal coaches that you have there and on junior year vision well i learned how to be on a stage a big stage and also to be with friends and to sing and to dance and all that absolutely this is really uh, you know inspiring uh, journey which you have you know come across but apart from that there are some some mentors there are people who always motivate to do something to us So, who was your inspiration during that time when you started? Is your parents or somebody? Somebody told, okay, Melani, you should be a singer of Spain. So, who was the person? Well, uh, uh, my inspiration were my parents because they have supported me since the second one. Because I remember when I was eight years old that I go into that choir. no to sing to try new things and i was only 8 year old and my parents say okay no problem you can go and i'm so proud of that because there is parents that don't support their kids 
So I'm so honored about my parents. Yes, do it. So I'm so proud. Absolutely. That's just what, you know, the parents are always inspiration and backbone of our success. And that's what the same, same thing happened with you as well. Right. So tell us something about, uh, uh, you know, at the age of eight years, you started to prepare for bigger contest and you, you was dreaming to become a, the person to represent a Spain in a junior Eurovision contest and all. How was your journey? How you, how you get that big platform and how, from where you started? Well, it was totally a surprise because, yeah, I sang in the first uh, performance that I did was in The Voice. And when I won The Voice, I, well, I made the book, I made singles, but I didn't expect at all to be in Junior Eurovision representing my country, you know, that's a honor. So, uh, I remember I was told to do an interview into a program of here in Spain, so famous. So I said, oh, okay, an interview, okay. And I went there and they told me, w can you wait one second? We have the um, recent news about who is going to Eurovision. And I was like, okay because i didn't think it was me it was a surprise and they say well we have the notice if a girl she is from liliana valencia she ha she loves the opera and i was like wait that's me <laughs> and i was like totally surprised and i was so proud and well then i made the song marte and i all that experiences they feed me because it's so good having all that experiences you mean the interview which you have given to the tv channel uh, and that is what your starting point right that was that was the starting point to recognize your talent and people have you know pick, picked you as a as a as a person to known in spain and 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 that's what the journey started right that's what you're trying to say so you mean Yes. that opportunity that opportunity given a platform to enter into junior eurovision and represent spain yes yes because uh junior eurovision in spain it's mm -hmm. all managed by uh channel tv that it's called rtv so they choose the mm -hmm. kids some something mm -hmm. like oh i like this kid uh, he got to junior eurovision so they choose me but I mean, I was, I was not uh, interred that I was going there. They told me in that interview, so it yeah. was totally a surprise. That's amazing. And apart from that, uh, I seen that you are a singer, and also you play violin, and also piano. So it's a multi-skilled multi-skilled artist right so at this age uh, as I'm, I'm just i'm repeating again at the age of 14 you are now well-known singer in spain also you know expanding your knowledge towards playing a violin at a professional level so how this how you manage this multi-skilled artistic life because it's very difficult at this age to understand each and every instrument and perform like a mature professional how you do that <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, uh, first of all, it's because I do things that I love. It's like, mm -hmm. I don't know, the, the kid who plays football, he's like all the time, oh, I love football. So I'm totally like that because I love music. So I, yeah, I play the violin and the piano and I sing and dance. So yeah, it's because of that, because I love what all I do. And yes, you're true. It's, um, sometimes it's difficult to manage all that. And people say me that. But if you organize your day like truly good, uh, you can achieve all things and you can have time for all. Absolutely. So you mean that uh, time management and also managing your the, 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 the daily schedule is more important to do multiple things in a life. And that's what you're trying to do exactly <laughs> good good so apart from that uh, imagine that there are many kids uh, let's talk about different countries uh, africa 
uh, and also you know uh, zimbabwe africa's like complete continent i've talked about then asia europe there are many kids uh, wanted to become a singer wanted to become a artist uh, in their area right so what do you think from where sh- they should start what is your message to them how they should start preparing and achieving their goal if somebody wanted to become a singer or, or, or any artist in their life what is your experience and how they can start if you can share it will be great okay well my message for them will be that they search a thing that they like but completely at all like they love doing that it's not like uh oh um, well no 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 that you love completely and that you start taking lessons for that that you achieve your dreams and also because not everything it's easy no you have to fulfill your dreams to be all day working but uh, now it's like you have to do that to then become i don't know a famous i don't know by your ballerine or a star or something what you want but you have to work it absolutely so people have to start keep focusing on something they wanted to achieve in their life that's what you're trying to say in one word yes yeah but apart from that uh, let's talk about uh, ground reality right ground, ground reality is different uh, mostly people uh, you know living in uh, the con- continents which i explained africa asia and also some part of europe whereas people are not having a uh, enough financial background financial background means they cannot they cannot take a risk and they cannot become an artist right so some but the particular people they always go for education and they feel that if they don't go for education or they don't go for you know xyz school possibly they will not get a job or they will not succeed or they will not become a successful person in their life but at age of 14 you are managing both you are going to school you are you know continuing your education you are also being an artist you are managing both part so how you think this challenge this is a, like this is a global challenge because people are not having money because they cannot go or they cannot join a, any violin class or they cannot join any piano class or they cannot directly enter in junior eurovision contest or like which you entered right so they need a platform they need a platform they need a strong support to come forward and and represent their country so being an artist have you come across any situation where you see people who are living in rural areas they are having a talent but they are not having enough support they are not having enough guidance and how you think this problem can be solved well i think that's a very common problem so yeah there are many people that have a great great talent but i know they maybe they don't have the family support or the economy support maybe or something like that or simply that they don't achieve like that fame or something so yeah that's very common and i think that people doesn't give up so i think it is all like that like you don't give up you fulfill your dreams like okay today um, no people come but maybe tomorrow there are two persons well two persons you think for two persons and day by day more people and more people so yeah and also it's so important the social media too because there's so many people that from all over the world look at you and me you're we are in different parts of the world and we can do this so social media is so important for artists and that to be you know Yeah, absolutely you mean that the, the people having a passion they should not stop it they should at least keep doing their work keep keep focusing on what they want to achieve one day will get a platform yeah. but but my question is melani very simple uh, being a artist do you think you or we can do something together to support this kind of people what do you think about that and how we can start with that to bring people from the, the rural areas the pe- bring people who are not potentially financial capable enough but at least enable a platform something something for that what do you think in a spain i'm talking about spain perspective because you can bring people from uh, italy bring people from some different countries and you know give them platform give them training and some some guidance and all how you think about that i didn't understand the 
the question. Can you repeat, please? Okay. So I'm saying that if you are an artist and there are people, let's say in Italy, let's say in Almeria, or some different countries in, you know, um, across the world, and they need a platform, they need some kind of boost up. How you think you can participate? Is there any plan you are working on to support and help those kind of people to come towards and come forward on international platform to represent their country? Okay, okay. Well, um, I think that, yeah, social media helps a lot. And um, specific, I'm not working on that, but it's a good idea. I, I will take it. But yeah, I mean, it's so important. But obviously, the first thing that you have to have is the support of your family or even your friends. Because that's like the important point. So I will uh, say to that people that they have to like say to their parents, look at me, look what I can do or something. To they say like, oh, hey, my kid has talent. So I think they have to say that if they don't have the support, uh, they say to the parents, like, look what I have to do, or I don't know, if you're a dancer and you don't have the support of your parents, maybe you could do a choreography to them and they see like, oh, well, my kid has so many talents. So, yeah, I think that's the important thing and the social media too. Good to know that. And it's like, you know, family support is more important when you do something different in life. If your family family is not standing with you, possibly you will feel a little bit down and possibly you cannot perform well. So, so in short, family support is more important when you want to do something in life. And the people who are in family, they they have they has to be positive, and and you know the supportive when during the during during a difficult time because that is what the main oxygen for the artist to do something different in life. And that's what that's what uh, you know every artist. And the parents who are listening and who are watching Melanie should understand the importance of parents and support is more important in life, right? But now let's move to the other, other topic, Melanie. Um, you represented Euro, Junior Eurovision 2019 in Poland. And, and being a proud member of European Union and also being a Spanish citizen, I feel proud as well. So you're a person who represents Spain. What was it, that song? Can you, can, you, can, you, can you dedicate that song to at least our viewers and then translate in a, in a in English what the song is all about, so they can also understand. Okay, this was a song which was presented during that that competition. Okay, uh, you want to me to sing a little bit? Yes, little yeah. bit, man. Thirty seconds, thirty, thirty, forty seconds. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I will sing the song that I represent in my country in Junior Eurovision. It's called Marte. <laughs> Llegar hasta Marte, llevarme al camino de la luz. No puedes cambiar. Llegar hasta Marte, llevarme a la luz. Tú vas a ser como quieras. Well, awesome. the song treats about. Yeah, the meaning of the song. Uh, can you can you translate that song meaning? The, so people who are not in Spain, possibly they can understand the meaning of yes. the song as well. Yes. Well, the entire message of my song is to save the ocean because you know it's all made of plastic and there is fish there. That I mean, there is. Uh, there is our food, our feed, you know, so we have to save the oceans because they are very bad because of the pollution and this is a problem that it's so common nowadays. So the entire song talks about that, that we have to afford something and if everyone, if everyone Okay, my phone scared that. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I I was saying that 
my phone took a update everyone of course maybe a little bit so little but that little with everyone's help could be a big difference the method is about it to save the oceans and our earth because it's our planet and it's the only we have wow what's amazing message uh, through the song and it's really it talks about environment uh, sustainability and also you know you know save our environment that's what the all all this song is all about uh, that's good but apart from that melanie um, i seen you also own can you hear me sorry i i didn't i don't hear you now can you hear me yes yes now yes Sorry. Okay, there was a problem. Yeah, there was a network problem. Seems to be okay. So uh, it was uh, really nice to know the song which you made. the The theme was completely on environment, uh, environment and sustainability of climate change as well. So that's good to know. Apart from that, do you have any other projects coming on and and you wanted to work uh, in a bigger platform as well? What is what is the future plan right now? Uh, some other problems. Yeah, future plan. I'm talking about what are the next upcoming projects which you are right now working. Uh, okay, okay. Well, I have some projects. I can't talk so much about them because it's like they are like secret and all that. But I can say that they are like TV ones or mm, I'm doing some concerts these years. So. Also, I just released a single that it's my last single and it's on all platforms on YouTube mm -hmm. and that it's called a star dance. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, that's all that I can talk about because it's so secret, but yeah, te television and concerts. Absolutely. So that's good. We will wait for that uh, television con concert when you, when you announce that, right? But keep secret we don't want to spoil the secret uh, on the show right so okay but apart from that you also own um, the very popular show in spain that is what la la os kids that's a that's a very very popular in spain so how you get that opportunity and is there any learning for you which you wanted to share with our our audience learning lesson how you got it well uh, I entered the voice because it was so, it's so strange the history because uh, the castings of that program were closed and I couldn't like enter but they, the group of the voice kids saw me on YouTube singing an opera and they say uh, they call my mother and say, well, castings are closed, but if you can uh, give here your kid, uh, your Melanie, and come here to do the casting, like the last one. And my mother was like, hmm, I don't know. And I was like, please, mom, please, please. <laughs> so finally, I went to, this, to the casting that they were like completely closed. I was the only there mm -hmm. and I learned so many things because I didn't thought that I would enter because of my opera you know normally it's more like flamenco or pop or something like that and opera I thought like they will don't like it so when I entered there I was like so so surprised and it was totally experience that I would never forget because I didn't know so many exercises. I just copy the YouTube songs. I was like, I didn't know nothing. And there you have book coaches that they say you like, oh, you can do try this exercise na, 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 na. and things like that. And I was like, oh, you I have to do that. Okay, okay. And I learned so, so many things. That's that's really nice to know your journey, and it's really inspiring. What you know, how you how you try to propagate your vision and idea towards what you wanted to achieve from from available platform which we have, right? So that's good to know. Apart from that, I have seen also you release one song, and that song is also very, very, very trending in Spain. 
do you have any other song which you think to present our global viewers something positive something motivating for them you wanted to give that kind of the glimpse of 30 seconds so people can also listen your voice and, and understand okay this is what melanie garcia is doing in spain <laughs> okay so then i will sing a little bit of star dance no? okay sí. <laughs> well this song treats about well it's called star dance so it's about dancing and to be happy because you have to be positive in life so here i am okay Dance! I just wanna dance, shake your body, it's gonna be so fun, just dance! I just wanna dance, shake your bed, it's gonna, gonna be crazy! Dance, dance, dance with me, babe! I can tell this feeling, can you play it louder? Dance, dance, dance with me, babe! Take your body, feel the music just once again! I just wanna dance! Awesome! That's what's like really, really motivating and people who are in, uh, you know, in that mindset to be become a singer or become an artist possibly they can you know understand you know how the melanie made herself more positive and also more confident to perform in a bigger platform it's good to know uh, uh, melanie your experience and your thoughts which are really inspiring and i seen you are actively involved in many other social activities across spain at at age of 14 where people don't believe in that and people don't think about that and you you think Thank about you. environment you think about people you think about culture and all that's what really the value of education and really the value of support from family indicates before leaving just wanted to know your thoughts uh, about any artistic industry what would be your you know your last message where any kids or any person wanted to become a become a at least professional artist in their life what is your message if you can give that crisp message it would be great for our viewers to understand from your experience yes well the message is like only three three words don't give up because that's the very important message don't give up because yeah sometimes uh, the things can go a little bit hard life is not easy so but you don't have uh, of all obstacles you don't have to give up you have to follow your dreams and to say it to yourself this is what i like this is what i love and i won't let people say like oh look at them he's not doing anything in life no i like it and it's my life it's my choice so i won't give up awesome it's like a very nice message and at this age you have that maturity and you know to understand the importance of time importance of skill and you know that's what the education uh, everybody has to do that and uh, it's really inspiring uh, journey which we come across and and you shared on our transforming times it was honor and privilege to have you in transforming times melanie we we'll look forward for we we'll, we'll look forward for your upcoming projects and being a spanish media company we are proud of you we are you know always looking forward for your projects keep doing great and wish we wish you all the best on the behalf of transconnect times the great success ahead keep motivating people keep inspiring people through your songs and once again possibly in a life you will you will win eurovision contest in upcoming 5 to 10 years that's what we wish that was that's what we can wish for a spain actually yeah? so keep doing it and we we'll, and we will invite you again uh, in a in a show possibly upcoming years and 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 we'll get, get in touch thank you very much for your time have a great day okay. i will Thanks. be so loved <laughs> thank you thank you thank you melanie take care bye bye